Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm a little stoked about this bad boy. I cannot wait to share this one with you guys and gals. I haven't seen it in person yet. I've only seen it in the pictures. Are you ready? This is going to be the RR standard from Knife Standards. This is the production model, and I'm going to unbox it. Well, <laughs> I've already taken it out of the actual cardboard, but are, are you ready? I was kind of expecting a, oh my goodness gracious, wait until you see this. I can't wait to see it. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, mama, would you look at that? Oh my goodness. Can I, can I, can I touch it? Can I pick it up? Oh, so there's the case that comes in, by the way, has a little thingy that you can, uh, you could clip or lock it. Pretty nice little case. Anyway, let's, let's get to, let's get to the subject at hand. Oh, man, oh, man, look how clean. You can't see the blade. It just looks like a, a big hunk of DLC-coated titanium. Oh, my goodness. Okay, listen, I'm going to dote over this one. I don't care what you think. Wow. Oh, okay, all right, yes, I am very excited about this one. I've seen, look at that, the camera can't even decide what to focus on. I've seen this one. I've seen the pictures. Oh my goodness. So, okay, we have a wire pocket clip. This side, all of the hardware is nice and clean, nice and smooth. It has all, all T8 hardware. And by the way, this wire pocket clip, if you're not a fan of wire pocket clips, I saw in the notes that you can also on the website get a titanium milled pocket clip if you don't want that one on there. But I'm just going to go one from one end down to the other. Look at this. This is totally blacked out. There's, oh, wow, it is just, okay, it is, I told you I'm going to dote, and that's just the way it's going to be. The jimping, oh, yes, oh, yeah, that's the stuff right there. That is perfect jimping. I can already tell, and I haven't even got the blade out. Are you ready for this blade? Here we go. One, two, <laughs> three, pow, right in the kisser. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Would you look at it? Just look at it. This is a thing of beauty. Compound grind, hollow ground, hand ground. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm I am short for words. This is the RR standard. It was it was inspired from his dad, the designer is ATR from the YouTube channel Knife Standards. And I think, oh my wow, wow. Okay, all right, let's let's get down and show you a good look. You have a big finger coil here, it has ceramic bearings in the pivot. These edges are all nice and chamfered. There's not a lot of detail to show you on the outside. It, I like that. I like the simplicity. I like how clean it is. Purely from a knife collector's standpoint, point of view. Oh my goodness. Would you? <laughs> I just want to keep repeating it. I can't help it. Look at this. CPM Magna Cut. This, this particular version, this is the blacked out version. All right, I got to remember to tell you guys and gals some things about it. You can get the bead blasted, the DLC with like this one. You can get the, stand, the, the stone wash or you can get the milled titanium. And at some point here, I will flash the specs up on the screen for you. But overall, this bad boy is 8.01 inches, handle width 0.49 inches, the handle height 1.18 inches, handle length 4.54 inches, titanium handles, the hand, gr hand ground, hand ground, <laughs> I'm getting hangry, the hand ground belt satin, and the blade is 3.6 inches of absolute beauty. Oh, wow. So left and right, it's rock solid, up and down, rock solid, our lockup. Dead center, right in the middle. Oh, wow, that's smooth. That is super smooth. And yes, of course, it is centered in and out of my pocket. Oh, like a dream. Super, super smooth. Nothing underneath there grabbing a hold of my pocket at all. And I think this would look cool with a milled clip, but I really like, I've grown to really Really, really, I <laughs> really enjoy the wire clip. You know what? I knew I was going to enjoy checking this one out. I hope I could get one of these someday. Just be, just, if not for just the absolute beauty of this knife. And let's check out the ergos. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And yes, as I suspected, it is comfortable. Hot spots? No. Giving it the B squeeze, I can feel the inside right in here. I can feel the inside of the uh, frame lock. 
but I don't think that this is one, although I could be absolutely wrong, I don't think this is one that people are going to be out taking to work to cut open bags of concrete. But I have the feeling that there are folks that this is in their price range and they're going to be doing, <laughs> they're probably going to be doing stuff like that. This would, uh, none of my knives are safe queens. If I had one like this, I would definitely carry it all the time. But hey, holding it in the standard grip, uh, there is some nice jimping up here. It is done very well. It grabs very well. You can see ATR right on the top. That's your designer. Um, I, I myself, you know, this is preference. I prefer jimping to come out a little farther because where I'm holding it naturally, uh, the jimping's hitting about half of my thumb, but... You can also do the old chokey chokey up. Yeah. Nice finger choil, full size finger choil. So you can really get in there to do some cutting, do some pushing. Um, you know, if I'm choking back with my thumb, that, that, uh, jimping's not too bad. But like I said, it only covers about half of my thumb. So if I was going to find a nitpick and a very weak nit, nit, nitpick, <laughs> a very weak nitpick. Go ahead, say that three times fast. I know you're laughing. Would be, give me more jimping. You know, I love my jimping. It is very comfortable. Uh, these the, uh, the only other thing that I'm, I'm really catching on is if I'm giving it a really, really hard squeeze holding on to it, just the inside right here. Now, it's not cutting. It's not uncomfortable. I'm literally, I knew I would have to be very strict with, <laughs> with, with what I'm looking at. When you have a knife of this caliber, uh, the, everything should be relatively perfect. And speaking of perfect, there's your grind. Very nice looking grind. And it, it says that it is hand ground. That looks very nice. You know what? We got to cut a piece of paper. And since I haven't checked this out, what I'm going to do after we do this is I'm going to check and see what we are behind the edge. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, ho, 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 ho. did you, did, are you hearing this? Would you hear it? Wow. This thing is an absolute laser. What laser? It is a laser beam. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> I want one of these. Okay, I had to check for myself. So I just measured this with the old Metatoya and it's 149 thousandths for your blade stock. And look at this. 15 thousandths of an inch behind the edge. That's why this thing is so screaming sharp. So the ergos are good. Let's check out the, at oh, okay. So the pass through, oh, <laughs> okay. I almost forgot about that. I'm so excited about this knife just because of the looks. See, you could, you could tell when someone likes knives when they haven't even got to all the stuff. I'm just, oh, okay. So your action, can you reverse flick this? Uh, you can, but there's really not a, a lot of room to get your finger back here. You can reverse flick it, but I don't think that that's definitely not something I would be doing if, oh, wow. <laughs> if I owned one of these, the uh, pass through is super, super butter. Like I said earlier, it has a steel lock bar insert and oh, wow. It is so absolutely buttery smooth. Comes snapping out. The detent is on point. That's what I would expect. I would expect nothing less for a knife of this caliber and this price point. Wow. That is so smooth. And these are all numbered. So we're getting to check out number 28. How about that? Now, these are actually available on the website. I'll put a link to the website, Knife Standards, in the description if you want to go check it out and check out all the all the stats and all the different versions of this bad boy. But if you like a blacked out knife, wow. Is uh, I'm just going to sit here and not use enough words. Somebody once said recently, you need to get a thesaurus. <laughs> I, I got such a good laugh out of that. I was like, I know, I know. I'm like a kid in a candy store every time I open a new knife. But right-handed, it works well. Left-handed, super smooth. It does not have a reversible pocket clip. So let no lefty love on that front. It's easy to use with the left hand and that, oh. Okay, so this hydraulic action. Just a couple shakes. It is, oh, that is so money. I'm going to... I, Hey, okay, I'm going to stop. Friday night, Bees Blades, live at the Hive. Definitely come and check us out. I will be showing this on the live stream, doing some size comparisons. And, you know, I usually do, uh, show my knives up against the QSP Penguin. But, you know, do you think I should? I'll show one. Here's the Black Jig Titanium QSP Penguin done by traditional pocket knives. So if you have a penguin, there you go. There you go.
But coming down to earth for just a minute before I get to go play with this knife, all in all, the things that I like about it is how absolutely simplistic and complex it is at the same time. Look at that. Just look at it. It doesn't look like a knife. It just looks like this modular square piece of something. And you're like, what is that? And then, oh, wow. That is so absolutely gorgeous. Knife collectors, I know you're going to dote over this. And I'm curious, what do you think about it? These run for $385 hairs. So if this is in your cat price category, then, uh, you know, I don't know how many they're making. But if this, if I had the, the moolah, I would be getting myself one of these in a second. Oh, wow. So, okay. All right. We'll talk more about this at the hive stream. Everybody, tell me what you think about it. And if you don't have an opinion yet about it, I mean, I understand. You may not be able to afford it, but come on. <laughs> come on. Tell me what you think. But until I see you again, go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy those knives. And I'm going to see you in the chats and the live streams and the hive stream. So until then, remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And don't cut yourself.